Well, good morning, Krista. And good morning, race fans. How are you all doing? This is Diesel Pilot here for a special edition of the Super Mario Brothers 3 Randomizer Weekly Race. I'm here joined in the booth by Krista Joy. Krista, good morning, and how are you? I am doing good. I am doing good. I am doing good. I am having a uber exception here because I had forgotten I had sound on everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so fun. I had the echo of a lifetime just hit me smack in my face. But I have just returned from Splody Town, USA, where I was spending July 4th. And I am hacking at the bits, ready to get back into commentary because I've been on a vacation. And it looks like you have rolled some shenanigans. And Oh, yes, my friend, we have some shenanigans. So for those of you out there, this is going to be actually a flag set that is going to resemble the upcoming League Season 3. This one is going to be the Week 3 Season set where we've got Scavenger Hunt mode going on. So Krista, have you heard of, heard of sca Scavenger Hunt? Yes, 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 and yes. I am so glad we talked about that because um, before we had mentioned about because uh, we did the week two, which was auto scroller hell. Week three, scavenger hunt. So let me break that down for them. So hammers are going to break law. Yes. But this is going to be open world with toad houses completely disabled. Five worlds are only going to be required now. But unlike auto scroller hell, eight unique items are going to be required and they're gonna have to read the letter from peach to get those hints so it is going to be very specific in order to enter bowser's world oh diesel this is so exciting i'm here to agree with you sister it looks like we've got uh uh some of course path diversions right out the gate and our buddy teeks uh, just went down to a hammer bro fight Yes. Now, this is something that we talked about before in Auto Scroller Hell in terms of, you know, strategy, strategy, strategy. And this is going to be where strategy is going to come into play. And as you can see, oh, on Tazel's side, I am the happiest I've ever been. <laughs> Why are you the happiest you've ever been? Do you see what Tixie and Tazel are experiencing? Oh, I do see it. It is... It's just another fort, right? Is it just no, another fort? No, it is not just any fort. It is the fort of love and happiness, folks. 7F2. The bestest fort in the game. Anybody who says that it isn't, you know, we're gonna duke it out wholeheartedly. And we have Escalator Fort action on Dr. Torstel's side. Oh, baby, this is great. The only thing I really regret about 7F2 is that with it being Bowser's greenhouse, it really should have a brighter background. It should, because it brings so much happiness to everybody who enters, you know? It's the Fort of Friendly Flora. And nobody, you know, people are like, oh, it's just pain. And we will dig, duke it out, <laughs> chat. Yes, we will duke it out. It's, 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 you know, you guys don't know what you're talking about. And Dr. Tor is still taking a little bit of pain and escalator fort. I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah. Guys. The escalator, and, and, those photo booths right there can, oh, they, they can be tricksy for sure. Uh, let's go with the love and happiness mod going on and getting hitbox lex left and right, Diesel. Oh my. Yeah, there's a lot of that going on right now. Um, you know, some, it's unfortunate, but what we are seeing, though, is an advantage of the open mode is... Uh, Plico went after having a little bit of trouble struggling with the Hammer Bros, said, you know what? I'm not going to play with this right now. I'm going to go someplace where I can actually make some progress. She finds 6F2 right out the start of World 1, I believe, was that? 
Yeah, it's Alaska with no flight privileges. So happy trails to those of you who are flying on Spirit, Southwest, Allegiant, JetBlue, you know, and all those wonderful airlines that kind of suck the highest level of donkey. And I kind of am liking the 7F1 play that's going on on Teeks and Tazel's side. And it's like I'm not a big fan of Fort Knox, personally, but... You know. well, something that it does do is that they got themselves out. Tozzle's the first one to defeat one of our worlds. Uh, well, he's one of the, fir the first one to enter one of our airships. We'll find out sh shortly if uh, she can give Iggy the business. Yeah. I so think she can give Iggy the business. Ah, uh, getting the star. So Tozzle here showing, you know, the business to our nerd rage hero and if anybody knows where i got nerd rage from what game and they can say it in chat you will get 100 brownie points <laughs> you know, there is a uh there are a couple of questions uh in chat because this is actually the first time that we featured uh, this full mode on an SG restream. So, or at least uh, the scavenger hunt. We have featured open world a little bit, but there are some questions and good ones at that. Uh, does it save your progress when you change worlds? No, actually it does not. If you leave a world, the only thing that it saves is whether or not you defeated the airship. And that is saved in the uh, the warp zone level when you go, when you get defeat the airship, you go back to the warp zone, as you're seeing Teeks go right now, takes it to world nine, and you have to go back to one of the other worlds. Um, so yeah, you. Uh, but there's not enough memory because this is a game from 1988, 89. Uh, there's not enough memory in that cartridge to save all your progress for all the worlds. So uh, with that, we you know, just couldn't do it. So, uh, but Macobra did do some phenomenal work managing to squeeze out a, f a little bit more uh, memory capacity in order to even make the open world practical. And um, so as far as what the items, what are the items they need? So they need to collect eight items that are the unique items uh, except for clouds or hammers. Uh, clouds and hammers are reusable, don't count, but there's also the items that you get like uh, what you see from these Hammer Brother fights, like uh, Pleco just got that P-Wing, and Dr. Torsal is about to collect, let's see, a hammer. So the P-Wing does count towards it, and they have to get eight of those items, uh, counting the Warp Whistle that they start with. <coughs> so they have to pick up seven more in order to open the path to World 8. Uh, the hammer does not count because it is a, you can only use it uh, once. Um, you can find multiple hammers, but you can only use them once, and you can only accumulate two of them in your inventory. Another thing that you'll see, you uh, might see it here with Teeks, but sometimes it shows up like that, where it shows up with a, another, uh, another chest. What that means is the item was an item that he already has in his inventory, so it wasn't a reusable item, it was an inventory item. Well, it is a reusable item. Uh, for open world, open mode as well, when you collect an item that you already have, uh, it shows up as that chest, but the way you use it is you just go to your inventory and you spend coins to activate it. So you can only hold up to 50 coins, and you can see on Teeks' screen, when he gets up to 50 coins, it's just going to stop counting. So he's collecting all these coins, nope, you're done at 50. However, you spend coins, 5, 10, or 20 coins, depending on the uh, tier of the power-up, and you get to reuse it. So it's uh, open mode in a world in a nutshell. And that was a great explanation. I didn't know, you know, I kind of put myself on mute because you were doing such a great job. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> you take the complete lead on that. And the one great thing about the scavenger hunt mode is even though our runners are going so fast you can't read the princess letters, the princess letters are actually what's going to offer a clue and insight into what opens the path. 
So you will have to have eight unique items that's going to open the way into world eight. So if you do not have these items, you do not gain entry. So this is going to have to really prove that our runners can have excellent item management and that, you know, they don't accidentally use up the item because there are some that are single use items. And then, which I'm sure Diesel will explain that concept. And then there are some that are reusable all the time. So let's say you get a cloud, you get a hammer, and those are some of the golden use coins and that Boss Bass was kind of hungry on Teeks this side. And those are some of the golden ticket items. Well, Willy Wonka is not going to let you into his magical World 8 chocolate factory if you do not have them. So this is where our runners are going to have to really use their noggins on this and play effectively. Right, Diesel? Oh, 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 yeah. And Dr. Torsol, uh, at the end of the World 7 airship, in w one of the nastiest parts of the <laughs> the airships altogether, uh, finds uh, those bolt lifts and got spun off of the bolt lift. He's going to have to go back and Ooh. replay that from the start. And this is a point where he could use, if he wanted to, uh, if he has uh, in, in his inventory a uh, leaf or fire flower, he could use that right now for, I think, 10 coins to uh, activate the leaf or fire flower. Also, we have to give it up to Tixi embracing his inner human mustard with a frog clip who doesn't and love saying the frog ego i know frog is op and anyone who doesn't you know believe that is absolutely out their gourd and we have a very weak lemmy koopa oh diesel did you see that i am very was disappointed that a one, in was lemmy. that a one hitter on lemmy that was absolutely a one-hit quit Lemmy. Oh, oh uh, uh, Dr. Torso, okay, he got out of it. He had gotten uh, stun-locked again by um, our Salty Morton, but he does get out of there and moves on. He'll be going back and able to uh, make some more progress. Yes, and we have Pleco taking the bottom H. No H jump for Pleco in 3-9. So we're going to happily... Fire through the nanny blooper, and Tazel is moving on up and out of her specific level. Wasn't really paying too much attention. Oh, 610. So, 610, we get the clip on Teeks' side, and oh, baby, we got us a boss bass for Tazel. Oh, yeah, boss bass in 2 3. Anything in 2 3. 2 3, I think, is sort of a sleeper level as far as difficulty. It looks like it's going to be just oh so nice and friendly with a P switch and all these bricks to turn them into coins. Si 2 3 is a. It's cruel in how subtly it can just turn on you real quick. And we had one of the hand stages starting off in World 3 for Dr. Torstall. And, you know, Tix is using the power of sacrificing your beloved power up to get through Alaska. Does miss the normal, you know, fast strat kill port, innocent boom boom, but does get the poor innocent boom boom kill you know it's a sad day when you see stuff like that happen diesel poor innocent bam bam just getting schwacked yeah and i know our runners are happy to see the auto scroller hell off because coin ships are now you know playable once again <laughs> that was that was quite the uh, trick when we had everybody having to do the auto scrollers playing them straight and for a little while, we were actually wondering in that one of those races if we were even going to see the auto scrollers. But yes, we did see them. They showed up. Yeah, and they were quite um, the thing. What can I say? It's quite the thing. And our runners did not like it. And, you know, we were talking about 
when for our newer runners, because, you know, as you mentioned, using power-ups, the repetitious ones involve paying the coin fee. And for newer runners, you know, you're, you're going to use items a lot more than the more experienced runners. So they're going to use coin ships, obviously, a little bit more because you need to, you know, get fast coins and quick so do you go ahead and watch your coin count so you can you know generate more coin ships or are you going to go the route of trying to get the straight up coins and we have the potable hand stage on dr dorstel's side or do you you know how how do you micromanage that and auto scroller help do you grab the quick coins and then get smushed or what do you do yeah you know, i like the what they dis what they showed last week was that if you go ahead, you get a few coins, you can just sit up against the mass of that ship as it scrolls through you, and just be done with it. Uh, I get smushed. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. No. Auto scroll smush. Auto smushing. Auto smash. Yep. Get get smushed, bro. Get smushed. Get smushed, bro. <laughs> I love it. And you are. And you are happily seeing in World 6, it looks like, um, 3F2. So, oh, happy nice. trail. And look at Teeks taking him a 100 coin fine. Rather yeah, he... than place 7 6. <laughs> yeah, I think he uh, entered. Did he enter with a tail? Yeah, he doesn't yeah. like tail clips. Yeah. And yeah, he's he has a P-Wing, so he spent, uh, I think it's 20 coins to equip a P-Wing, and he's done. No need for clipping, even if you got the P-Wing in your inventory already, just be done with it. Uh, something else you will see here is that, um, uh, wouldn't fine. oh yeah, it would be a 50 coin fine, yeah. Uh, zero wing, well, yeah, in this oh, case, yeah, 100 coins. Oh yeah, that's coin. right, in here they only have a maximum of 50 coins. And not a hundred coins. Well, you know, even that doesn't work because you can't get a one-up anyways through coins. Yep. So, so, you're just spending extra lives. Yeah, I, I'm so used to calling it a hundred coins there, Zero, that it just, you know, muscle memory. It's, you just call it the hundred coin fine, but in open mode it is 50 as the max you can get and we're seeing tazel get the item in 3 7. and i think this is a good call because if you don't have the number of items that you need to enter bowser's castle this could actually be the one stage that has that uh that extra item and this case Ooh, and it's anchor. an anchor and that is a rare item by the way so very good call to get it. At least now you have that item in your inventory. So, hmm. But you know what? I saw one of the princess letters and it didn't look like it had any kind of clue. So I wonder how the clues are coded. I'm not sure. Honestly, I, I haven't paid attention to that part of it. That was a weird sludge bro down with Pleco. Um, it looked like he uh, got a weird clip jump off uh, off of the uh, the block that he was falling through. Oh, Pleco? Yeah. Yeah. She she has uh, the worst luck when it comes to enemies. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a feel for Pleco. Uh, something we will not be seeing, it looks like, is uh, Tazel going for the uh, maximum number of coins. Even though she does have the fire suit, she could melt the blocks at the end of 6-7, but she's not going to do that. She's just uh, going to play it fast and get through the stage. Got it. So, let's see what Pleco does. So, Pleco going for the bro kill, which absolutely is the right play for her. 
and gets a repeated item, which is why we see that chest. And we have super tank action on Teeksy's side. Hmm. Oh. And, and that's the great thing with doing open world, because it, it allows you to really get into the mind of runners. You know, to really see where they're gauging things. And one thing that I just saw is Dr. Torstel uh, clears uh, roll three enough that he could have gone and played the castle, but instead he is going to go and uh, fight the Hammer Bros looking for another item. So uh, it's, it is part of the strategy. You're not Even though we are still racing, it's not necessarily the best thing all the time to get to the castle as fast as possible. There could be situations where you need to go hunting for an item, which is pause, part of why we call it the scavenger hunt. And this is an unpopular opinion, but depending upon what you have in your item list, I would actually even go to the Mushroom Island. That could be a good play as well. I, because if I, one of them is a rare is a rare Mushroom House uh, item set, you can stand a chance of getting one of the Hammer Suits. Because if Hammer Suit is one of the requirements for getting into World 8, you know, there's always that possibility. Yeah, they could be hidden in all kinds of places. And we are going to see here, um, Complica's screen, she's going to be coming down, and actually uh, Dr. Torsal's screen. So we're going to get a, a glimpse of that letter, because they do also that uh, muscle memory of just hit the button and get through to the next world as fast as possible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And... Ah, there was a Tanuki suit in somewhere. I wasn't able to see it. And we have a cloud. And I think our runners are skipping the note, which, you know, I don't remember if they know that they need to pay attention to the notes. There is a frog suit in Giant Land. Yep, so... so there you go. So that's what it's saying. So we know that frog suit is one of the items. And it's telling you where to look for it, which would be in World 4. So, so that's an amazing uh, diesel. So, well, now the, the number or the specific items you can get, they can be any of the uh, reusable items. So mushrooms, leaves, uh, anchors, they all count. Um, and you just need to get uh, seven in additional, in this in this flag set, just seven in addition to the, um, the whistle that you start with. So even though the Tanuki suit and, and um, frog suit were just mentioned, those aren't, you don't have to have a Tanuki suit uh, unless it's a situation where you have to have every item. Got it. Yeah, we we've been uh, trying to work on the understanding the logic of uh, of the game as well for for us too. It's you know, for the commentators, runners, everybody. It's a little bit of a learning curve in trying to understand what's actually going on. Okay, so. Somewhere Angelic Jade is getting happy because we're going to try to see a tail clip on Dr. Torstel's side. That's a bold strategy there. Let's see if it works out for him. It's bold strategy, Cotton. But you know what makes me sad? What's that? That nobody knew where the term Nerd Rage comes from. It is actually... Have you ever played any of the Fallout games, Diesel? Oh, yes. Yes. It's one of those little perks you can get. Yes. Yeah. Nerd Rage. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Same you have, on. Yeah, I forget what the uh, requirements are, but I think it's you have to have uh, high intelligence or something, and you... Uh, uh, get extra damage. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it is totally what is needed. And, you know, no lie, uh, I have used Nerd Rage, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> there, and you shame. need Intelligence 10 in order to do that. Okay, so it's the maximum Intelligence 10. Yeah, it gives you damage resistance, bonus damage, and 
you know, and uh, health region. So it's it's amazing. And I if you love it. if you if you use it wisely, oh baby, <laughs> oh baby, you become indestructible. I might have to go fire up uh, New Vegas and go and do that right now. You know, they oh, yeah. do, you know, they do still have for another few days uh, that Steam sales going on, so I might have to. Oh, yeah. The, and uh, this is not an official promotion with Steam, of Speed Gaming of Steam. It's just a thing that uh, Diesel Pilot likes to do. Yeah. And because I, I run uh, Fallout 4, I run all the Fallouts. I am a Fallout fanatic. Are you a Fallout so, girl? Yes. I me had a feeling. Dog meat, like I run with dog meat and we blow up everything. Give me a fat oh, man nice. and I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm a nerd that blows up everything. You know, you just got to. Oh, there was way back in the day, back when. Oh, Dr. Torstall gets nom. There's one game, but there's one game I will never acknowledge, though. And that's because I had bought, I had it when I um, pre ordered and got the beta and everything of it. And yeah, that's 76. 76. You, you, you bought 76. Yeah, I have pre. Because oh. when I heard, you know, Country Roads take Oh, home, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, let's go. And speaking of let's go, we are in <laughs> Stratchaboo Fort action going on Teeks' side. Meanwhile, Tazzle has cracked the code and is in World 8 right now. Alright! Way to go, Tazzle. Since she is squarely in the lead, I'm going to give her the uh, magic sound. So, this and imagine that, like, it just sapped up all those items in order for her to enter into World 8, Diesel. Well, that's right. Teeks is in World 8 as well. You know, this is something Teeks that uh, we did... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is something that we did mention uh, back uh, this past week. Uh, we are actually, for uh, uh, League, we're going to add a little tracker so that we can actually mark which levels which worlds uh our players have beaten so that we oh can, you are yeah so that we yeah that so makes life much easier yeah we're gonna and once we get it uh debuted and uh figured out in league we're gonna add it to the weekly thing since open world open mode looks to be pop looks to be popular i'm loving it and it looks like two bridges to get to bowser's crib so Teex is substantially in the lead as he has one bridge oh, yeah. completed and you know I, yeah. I and that's to be expected but with scavenger hunt I think we will need a tracker for this particular yeah. week more than anything because one and also a spoiler for commentator and the reason why for that is so we have some instance of knowing what is needed to get in there. So when we mark in there, we can actually know who's truly in the league, in the lead, and we don't get surprised. <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, it's easy to get turned around or messed up on that. Yeah, especially if we're going to go with a four person layout, because you're watching yeah. four, four people. So I think this is something. So Teex is now completely in the lead. We're going to skip over wow. that. Use his hammer suit. And we're good to go. But we also have chat that backs, backs us up. So it, it the way it's looking right now, looks like Teek, Tozzle, Pleco, and then Dr. Torstel. No! Looks like... Yeah, Pleco is going in next. And then Dr. Torstel. So, beautiful. They found what items is needed. Because we didn't know what items opens up Bowser's crib. So Teeks has it. Teeks is in. And he is about to be in Bowser's fight here. Um, probably just five uh, shots to the noggin and he'll be done. Yeah. Okay, so now that we know the gist of this, you're rolling another seed, obviously. So now that we know, we can well, say... Actually, uh, Krista, um, 
We do have a little bit of uh, misfortune today due to just timing and scheduling. Uh, I don't think we're going to have the time to do a second seed. Is it because of 130's Kaz Boots? Uh, yeah. yeah that's, I am uh... the commentator for that. Ah! <laughs> well, I... So we don't want to be uh, well, running them Well, so off. far, I can tell you, we don't have a tracker for that right now, and I'm the oh. solo comp for that. Oh. So feel, well, feel, feel free <laughs> to roll another seat. <laughs> we'll be fine. All right. Well, let's see if we can get... Um, let's see if we can get Teeks in. Because it looks... Yeah, because it looks like the average person is going to finish in less than 30. If we oh. go with the five world. Yeah, five eight. worlds. So five worlds it might be. Yeah, because the time now is 1238. So if we just open up the room, maybe switch the layout to three. Whoever the top three finishers are, and then we should be able to finish by no later than 115. And we will be fine for when I come on for cast boots. For cast boots! Between the French sensation, Gridashim, and everybody loves Paulino! Yes, that, that is me, Diesel. When you see me in Zelda mode, <laughs> hey, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, wonderful, 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 yes. It's Cursed Boots, and you gotta love Cursed Boots. But let us give some GG action over to Tixi, who is the first on Restream and Total Feel. And that time of 28 minutes and 6 seconds, he is absolutely on fire. Let's see. Let's get that there. I got Teeks uh, a validated invite. And welcome aboard, Teeks. How are you doing? GG. Hey, yeah, we got a uh, we got a fangirl in here for you. Uh, wanting to uh, tell you how much she loves seeing you back in the action again. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here as well. It's been a while. Yes, I haven't seen you on this side of the spectrum in a hot minute, and you know, uh, we appreciate everything you did for us in Clash of the Nations, buddy. Uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun as well. Glad I could represent the, the USA in Hundo. Yes, you are a menace when it comes to anything you do Super Mario Brothers 3. So that's why we love you, my friend. We love you, love you, love you. And, and I love you all as well. And how do you like this new format? Does this not breathe a breath of fresh air into Super Mario Brothers 3 Rando? It certainly does, and I went into this, um, I, I wouldn't say completely blind or anything, but it isn't the first time I've ever played an open world seat like this with a scavenger hunt sort of uh, condition, so... Um, the most extent I had the chance to see prior to this was when uh, Darth Icarus was doing, a, um, was doing a showcase of this sort of seat for another marathon just recently, so... Um, that's the only reason I knew what to do. Ah, the white foo was doing some some racing for her light foo, and In, indeed. And you know, we were talking about strategy. So let's get in. Let's probe your mind a bit, my friend. As mm -hmm. uh, Tazel goes up, Fire Flower against Bowser. So when you were go, you know, your mindset. Were you playing like bro heavy, item heavy stages, worlds? So that way you could get the most items to try to clear the scavenger hunt requirements? Yeah, to be honest, I was a little scatterbrained, so I did a little bit of both. Um, I thought that World 4 would be a good one to start with because it generally isn't a world that requires a lot of clouds or hammers. It tends to be pretty linear, even if it puts you on the long path. 
and it tends to give you about two or three hammer bro fights. So, um, yeah, I figured that was pretty much the best of, um, of both worlds. And then, yeah, I went with World 6, which I knew is generally a longer world, but, you know, again, you have an opportunity for three bro fights, so that helps the, the scavenger hunt thing. And, uh, yeah, World 1 was pretty much the opposite. It was one bro fight with, um, you know, only two or three levels generally, you know, depending on if the locks are nice to you or not, so... It was a little bit of both. Tazdal, just as a heads up, can you mark yourself done in race time? Because for some reason, what? it unmarked you as done. That always happens, and I have no idea why. Okay, because we know you finished at 32.53, but then it was like, denied. And yeah. our second place finisher, Overall, I refuse to acknowledge that time that, that, you know, race time wants to give her. It is 32.53. I'm going with the first time. Thank heck you. what, heck what race time GG says. And, you know, because we are cool like that. Right, Tazel? Even though you broke my heart. By not having the hearts out, I didn't see them. Oh my goodness, I was so behind. I thought I was going not. I thought everyone would be angry at me for not figuring out how to patch, Mac patch, heart patch, and I was in a panic and I didn't turn them on. Nothing's in the right folder right now. It was just, <laughs> I barely made it home for the race. <laughs> well, don't worry, Pleco did it for you. No okay. worries. Okay. So we did get to see some heart action. And speaking of your fellow Canadian. Pleco just beat Bowser as well. <laughs> and Pleco just joined us. With finishing at a time of 34.53, we have Pleco coming in deck. Both of you, Canada's finest. You know, I know you guys looked at this open seed scavenger hunt and was like, you know what? This is a piece of cake. So, <laughs> I love these flags. These are probably my favorite flags. And because of that, I haven't been practicing them. I've been practicing week four for the league's Kaizo, and I didn't realize how much it was going to screw me up, especially early on when I'm expecting the, the bros to move really fast and do weird things and the boom booms to just freak out. So early game over was kind of like staring, up, staring at the screen going like, what am I doing? What am I doing with myself? Nice. Funny. Enough. How do you mention it? I actually had no idea what the flags were, um, and was just hoping for the best. <laughs> That's fair, honestly. Like I had a plan going in. I knew exactly what I needed to do, and of course, jump in the two three quarter. Uh, okay. And then I tried five. Found out that you know seven six is or was it seven six seven six is there. Okay. Went to four. Got demolished How did you by even a bro. See seven six. I didn't see seven six. Yeah, that was the that was the five one panel in World Five, you know. Really? Yeah. So I was like, all right. So game over it in four. So I'm just that. like, I'm gonna go get a power up in one, and then I'm gonna start doing my thing. And honestly, apparently that's all I needed was just to start with one, get into the groove, and then do my plan. <laughs> that's good. Nice, nice. And Diesel, I just got me a co-commentator for the next matchup. Yay! I, um, uh -huh. I, I just want everyone to know, in case not everyone did this, that I did that double hammer play for Stewie. So, you're welcome, Stewie. Nice, nice. Oh. And Dr. Torstel, with, you know, was trying to do tail clips for Jade, and Jade isn't even here to appreciate no. it. Can you believe that? That's that's brutality at its finest. <laughs> I was really glad that I got second try tail clip. I was a little worried there for a second. That's what happened. Seven six. I I didn't. I said goodbye to seven six. So I got a tail clip like immediately. That's what happened. Oh. Yeah, I went in and uh, originally small, and I came back big, and it worked out. That's good. Um, yeah, I took three or four attempts at it, pieced out, and then just took the ten coin fine for the P wing. Yeah, nice. Yeah, honestly, not a bad idea. I don't know if I had the P-Wing. No, I didn't have the P-Wing yet, because I chose going to five seconds, so I don't think I had the P-Wing yet. Uh, I did... Ooh, we have some third, new people. I believe. That's where the P-Glove was. We have some new people that finished off camera. 
Marky Mark Sansa's Funky Bunch finished at 3716. No interview coming from him. And our wild Texan William in Texas finished at 3746. So close game between wow, the two of them off very camera. Close. So I very am... awesome, awesome. I do want to say oh, I would have no. finished a little bit quicker. Um so for whatever reason I under jumped in Bowser's Castle and died. But I clouded over what was it, six nine or whatever the hell I, I That was I, six six. I had to go it's six, was six. It six? It was yeah. I had to good. go through it. I didn't have another cloud. Oh no. Yeah. I wish I had my cloud for six six. I used it for something else. Speaking of our Texas representative, how you doing, William? Doing pretty good. How are you? Doing we are doing great. How how are you liking Scavenger Hunt? You suffered with us last time with Auto Scroll of Hell. How did you like Scavenger Hunt? That was pretty interesting, though. I gotta say, the beginning of this seed was a different kind of hell for me. So the first world I go into is World 2, and I see a triple forwarder. And I say, no yeah. thanks. And uh, then I decide to go to World 5. And the first thing I see is a clip stage, and I'm small. So I bail on that. I hit the reset button, actually. And uh, then I go to four, and the first thing that greets me is Piranha Fort. <laughs> what is this? You pretty yeah, much that, did the same thing I did. That's a way to do it. I hit Piranha Fort first, and I was like, well, guess this is just how it's going to be. Are we calling Piranha Fort by just plain old Piranha Fort? And I'm here... How could you guys? That's that's love and love and right. Thank you, thank you. We must call it by its true name. It brings just happiness to small. everyone. It brought happiness to me. The moment I seen it, I was like, oh yeah, you know what? Chris is here. Of course it's here. It's gotta show itself. It's gotta say hello. Yes, it wouldn't yeah. be a good wouldn't be a good day and you know, bringing sunshine and happiness and all that good stuff. Dr. Torstel's been having a rough, rough, rough time, guys. Uh, but I think this will get him to his fifth uh, level and or fifth world, and he will be able to go and uh, uh, join us in World 8 uh, in just a moment. Yeah. So what was the combination that opened the path to Bowser's Crib, to World so 8? All having of eight items, except for the cloud and the hammer. Those don't count. So eight items plus five worlds. Okay, so it didn't matter what, just having it. Yeah. So I wonder um, in generally... the, if they're going to make that change, because wouldn't that be absolutely fantastic? Well, I think the they... reason why we switched it from that to begin with is because it made everything too linear if everyone had to get the same items, and then one person could just find the right path right away and then just run away with it. Without having to decide dedicated items to choose, you actually get a more uh, fair and randomizer race because people can choose different paths but still get the items that they need to get to the end. Yeah, I believe you're pretty much guaranteed if, if as long as you do five worlds, you're pretty much guaranteed eight items. I definitely I didn't have a, eight um... items after five worlds and I had to go back. I went to seven. I found the first piranha. It gave me another cloud. I was like, you useless piranha. And then I had to go do the fort to get another piranha to get an item. Like, I didn't have the item. And I was oh. doing the bros, too. Because um, yeah. I did, I I never did one, three or six. one, two, four, five, and seven. Because a, a hint from, from Peach told me that the um, uh, frog suit was in seven. And I knew there's two um, two chompers. Messages from Peach. Oh yeah, no. In when you're in an open world like this, looking for items, Peach gives you hints. Yep. Yeah, yeah the, and scavenger uh, hunt. Yep, Only the in scavenger princess, hunt. Yeah, the princess letters will tell you that, for example, there is a um, uh, hammer suit in Giant Land or something. Mm. And yeah, so the star yeah. somewhere. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Actually, where was the star? The Giant star was in the uh, second seven. piranha there was a star in at the end of seven. seven. Oh, was that? Oh, okay, it was in seven, and then and then the frog suit I think was the Giant the Land. Storm. Oh, it was Giant Land. Frog suit okay, so I'm remembering right them away. wrong. Because I got to use. Yeah, it there was a peach letter that, that said that the frog suit was in Giant Land. 
Okay, I got them mixed up. Yeah. But yeah, it's um... it was the peach item. I should have read the hints. I was playing it uh, the hard way. Yeah, yeah. Tazel was just blazing through them, <laughs> and, and I'm like. Man, I'm trying to le read the letters. I'm not that fast. I'm a speed reader, but not that fitting. I didn't look it at a single letter. I was just playing. <laughs> it worked. You know? So, going forward, when it's actual week three for you guys, are you gonna read the letters, Tazel? Well, since I'm not in the league because I'm away, I guess I will oh. not read them, but I would like to read them <laughs> next time. Honestly, For everyone else who's oh, in Oh my goodness, oh my Rob. God. That was... That was cruel. <laughs> this is Dr. Is Torso's second or third game over. But like, he's it's, been it's having it really rough. Now, something was that. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, I, was, I thought I heard the uh, somebody joining the, the conversation sound. Anyways, uh, yeah, he had a couple of them in World 4. Um, now, what I have been noticing is, um, and I'm just saying, saying it for the purpose of uh, when, you're, when you're racing, I know this because I did it in my one little exhibition match. I completely failed to actually look at the map screen to understand what I needed to do and missed, you know, an obvious... Uh, uh, direction to go in order to play World 6, and I ended up taking the long route. And we got some similar things going here. Uh, Dr. Torsol's got the two forts. The, both the locks are in front of him, and uh, he does have a situation where he can... He, he does need to break one of those locks. He knows that because it's in front of the castle. But does he uh, done, has he done five worlds yet? Uh, no, I no. was correct. Okay. He's only completed four. I saw it when his screen loaded. He only had four... Uh, and I think right. at this point, if this level is giving you this much problem, I think I would flew it out and go to a different world. Yeah. Uh, if he's got I a mean, hammer, he can break the lock. Because that's one thing that you can do. Here. Yep, he's he can use that. items. He does have several um, items. I think he's got. I do think he does have enough, but he can also time. get a. Yep. Yep. Get a one up right there. I will say for anybody who's interested in playing this, so the Mac Patcher, if you if you get it, does have an open world document on like all the all yeah. the minor details of open world. And that was just very helpful too. He had not had a P wing yet, and he just picked that up. So that's uh, I think it costs twenty coins to use a P wing. Uh, fifteen actually. 15, I think. I, think. I don't 15? think there's okay. anything that's more than fifteen outside oh. of the anchor. The okay. answer costs 50 if uh, if it is a hammer or a cloud. Isn't it 45? Okay. Isn't it 5 less than what it would be? I think it's 5 except less than for, what it would be. Except for the hammer and the cloud. Since they don't cost anything to use, they just cost okay. 50 with the anchor. It. Okay. Okay, so... Speaking of coins, question for you guys. Did anyone else farm the coins from Fort Knox? I no, think. actually. I ripped through because it was my last one of my last worlds, I think. Or it was my last world, I think, yeah. I, I didn't have any hit. points when I hit it, so I used the P switch and I, I built up yeah, we coins. There is a door at the bottom. Strategy. Yeah, if there you... is a door at the bottom that takes you to the second room just like normal. Yeah, so if you if you have uh, a wing like a, a wing already, like it's uh, it's a good place to farm. I think that was intended by um, by Mac actually. Yeah. Same with uh, coin ships. Coin ship. Yeah, because it's our fairy fountain. The coin ship mm -hmm. is our fairy fountain. Yeah, they're mm, great as wow. long as we don't have the oral scroll we're stirring on. What was that? He came right back? Did you see that? Yeah. The boss pass? Yeah. Did you not yeah. tail swipe him and he came back immediately? What was I, that garbage? I, I'm pretty sure it did, yeah. That's some trolly business. Get down there. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, that was close. I was uh, um, it's over. Yes, it is. Oh, oh my goodness. Now use your pea glove. Use the pea glove. I'm, I'm hoping from this side. I'm hoping he has a hammer because then he can get through there. Let's is the hammer break locks? Nice. Yeah. Yep. Hammers oh, break I didn't lock. even know that. I would have been a little bit faster. Yeah, hammers break locks. That's really funny. Yeah, it's, it's how I went through five or seven without having to worry about the fort. So I don't know what the fort was in seven. I yeah, same do. here. What was it? I definitely played it because I needed the piranha. Um, carpet? I don't know. Not carpet for it. I found that somewhere else. 
No, Carpet Fort was at eight. Oh, thank yeah. goodness that Dr. Torstel has defeated Larry, and we're going to be moving on as that was his world five. That will open up the path. Yes. Oh, phew! And I keep hearing something. Yeah. Do you uh, hear people joining the um, the watch? Oh, okay. So I'm not losing my mind. Okay. Usually I am, but you know, where? Yeah, he made it. Yep, and he's got the path open. Ooh. He's going to world eight. What was in he's three? Clouds. Yeah, you just got one, so you can cloud right now. Use the pipe. Thank you. Yes. Um, what was in three? Three. Oh, I three? double hammered. Oh, and played team. one level. Okay. So I, I don't know what it was outside of. Oh my goodness. There you one go. Level. Take your time. Yep. I wonder if he was gonna do that and take. The strategic. Okay, yeah, go that way. You were right. Because he ahead. has zero. I like this. This is a better pathing. Yeah, I'm a little concerned oh, yeah. though that he's sporting zero. Yeah, yeah but yeah, the answer's should. on the hand bridge. It's the first fort and the last fort is the bridge maker, so. Mm -hmm. he's, uh, he's doing it faster than I did, that's for sure. But he blew a cloud though. He's got one more. As long he as has he one more? The last, uh, the last one. So he doesn't have to do... <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Uh, I am six, pretty eight. sure. Let, let's I'm hope he sure hangs he on and nothing happens. Let's let's keep our fingers crossed. Toes crossed, eyes crossed, legs crossed, arms crossed. We'll gotta hold on and hang on for Dr. Torstel. Double if cross. If that level, he's gonna get a one-up, so... I mean, he has to, unless he clouds it, but then he's going to 6-6. Six, six. Please, Peach, just play the level. Mm -hmm. I'm just hoping to play the level. You don't want to go to 6-6 six, six with no lives. No. Yeah, that's that's what I'm scared of. That'd be rough. Keep um, going. Yes. Yep. Yes, tough. Jade, and you missed, you missed tail clips, Jade. You missed tail clips. That were done specifically for you, Jade. Let's add to her uh, feeling bad. There we go. Yep, I got a second try 7 6 tail clip just for you with the tanuki. Yep. That's what VODs are for. <laughs> that is true. That drunk foot was giving everybody trouble. Yeah, it yeah, always walks on to you. It was being weird, and then it walks off screen. Yeah. Cool guys don't look at explosions. That's what I was doing as I walked off the screen. <laughs> okay. The answer's there. Keep going. Oh, yeah, he won't oh. go. I mean, no sane person is just going to go across the bridge without, like, looking around. I think you should just do it. Like, especially yeah, with I, what you can see here. This is I chanced it, it without doing that, uh, that proper tank. I figured, you know what? I see, I see it. If it's the elbow, I'll just yell. <laughs> yeah, yelling is always a good thing. Yelling is always a good thing. Okay, here we go. No one can hear me. <laughs> yeah, nobody oh. knows your yeah, he Oh, knows you think you had now. your mic muted? Did I not? <laughs> you did. Okay, good, because I was swearing. <laughs> gonna say oh no i'm in it trouble just, it just <laughs> it just makes for fun audio there you go oh jeez. And, and it just means morse code is in effect <laughs> don't scare me like that <laughs> i my microphone's even unplugged from where i'm sitting and i was so worried it was on <laughs> there you go it's unplugged you know we got the paranormal type thing going on anytime i get paranoid i i have um my stream deck has an actual like mute button so i just make sure that no sound like nothing goes to obs and that that way i know for sure i'm good but 
Okay, uh, Torso found the L. And he's, of course, going back. He should know the answer now. He he, he knows mm -hmm. that there's only one place to check, and it's across the hand bridge. So he should be on his yeah. way. Yeah. Well, now he's got the shortcut, too. He doesn't have to worry about going around that, that lock. But he's doing it anyway. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hey. He realizes it. Oh, good game. No, a little lost. One. Easy to wrong do. One. World 8 is a maze. Yes. Yeah. Might be okay, a little strong. Now we're sure. There you go. Yeah, we know. Over, overthinking sometimes. It happens. I'm just hoping that he plays instead of clouds. Okay. Just, just play it. Okay, yep. yep. It's nice and easy. It's, I mean, it's, it's a good kind level. of a nasty yep. enemy set, but it always is. So. At least you get the cloud here, or the yep. star here. I never even knew there was a power up there. Yep. Huh. Yeah! There are a lot of power-ups that you almost never see people get in, um, in, like, Hundo or, um, any, you know, percent? any percent, and so since, since you never see them, you, it's easy to forget that they exist. The, the one there on the bridge, um, that pushes, I actually never knew about that one until I started playing Rando. And there's several others that, uh, they're in, uh, you know, hidden or you call uh, Kaizo blocks sometimes that are, you know, just, they're just there, but you, most people never, uh, uh, hit them, or you, you never hit, see them hit, being hit in any percent or hundo, so those are the two big categories, and, yeah. I think right, there's one in that T. There's, there's what? something in that T, I think, that, uh, that's also, I think, either a power-up or, or a coin block that I, I found in vanilla. Yeah. Um, even things like, uh, 1-1, one, one, there's the, uh, one-up that's, if you take that, uh, flight at the first big runway in 1-1. One, one. Ah! <laughs> we have small bean action going on, so starting to get nervous again. Even that. though we do have coin action that can go to get the power up, but I still get nervous. <laughs> Okay, so I hope no, he's, he's doing good. He's doing good. Force Girl remembers the cloud in their inventory, so that they skip the one before Bowser's Castle. That is wise. It's rare that you get to use so many clouds at eight. You could have used three clouds at eight here. Three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that never happens in a real rando game. He's looking he's, at it. Oh, yeah, and wow, he's got two. Of them. two clouds. I didn't even realize. Use your cloud. Yep, there he goes. Oh, nice. Got the anchor too. The anchor was a music box, in case anyone didn't know. I found Ooh. that out. So it was Trasheru. Yep. Kind of hoping it would be like a club. But, I mean, that's everyone's dream, right? Yeah, the cloud is kind of the dream for anchor. The only or issue hammer is suit. in, in yeah, this hammer mode, if it's, a, if it's a cloud, um, it costs 50. It's the only issue. Yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't have had enough of that because he had 42 coins. Oh, yeah. Just Ooh, got in there. Nice. Beautiful. How clip. Uh-oh. That's okay. He got it. Getting the uh, getting yep. hacksword by this pillar. Okay. As long as it's not a troll laser, it's not too bad. All right. Now we have to get through the donuts and the fire. All right. Was so far, nice fire. All right. Um, oh, oh, oh. That was literally right. one frame longer than those those donuts were going down. All, <laughs> All right. right. There we go. All righty. 35 All right, 35, and then Bowser will be burnt, and we will be out of here. There's nothing wrong with playing it safe. Ooh, I like the hops. Whoa! Almost got a haircut. Yay! GG! Yay! Yay. And on the stream... Sacrificing the Fire Flower, Dr. Torstel will officially finish with. All right. Come on. Come on. Catch up stream so I can give the official time. All right. With an official time of 57 minutes and 30 seconds is Dr. Torstel, who has just joined us. How you doing, my friend? I, I made a lot of. Uh, I said on first world. I said, okay, we're streaming up to to a bunch of people again. Let's not die in first first castle. Died three times in the first castle. 
it was like a rough immediately. time. Uh, I Escalator Fort was being a bully to me there. I was like, oh. And then it's just like, and then it was like, I could use like a game. Uh, I, I had like five game overs. It was terrible. <laughs> Well, don't yeah, feel bad. you were having yeah. a rough. You were having a rough time. We saw that. We were rooting I, for you, friend. We were rooting for you. And, and I was trying to understand, like, how do I buy it? Like, it took me to third world to figure out how do I buy this item. And I was like, oh, it just consumes it like that. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that, that, is, that is something that does. Uh, I mean, it, it's an experience. You, know, you got to. It, when you uh, see it played, uh, or if you actually do it, you know, it's just a matter of seeing it and doing it. But hey, uh, though, uh, that's your. You finished your first scavenger hunt race already, and uh, awesome sauce, dude. GG. Yep. Yeah, yeah GG is. Yeah, you there, there the was. the only one who game over, though. I, I game over it in the first three minutes. I've been trying to practice the uh, the week four stuff, and my my brain is completely scrambled. Ah. Uh, uh, I was just like, where? When I got to World Four, I'm like, where the fuck's the frog suit here? Because <laughs> uh, I went to do a bonus stage. I'm like, is it in one of those secret music note areas in a level? That so I went to do a bonus, like I think it's five four or something like that for no reason. Because I was like, oh, maybe it's over here. The bo the the frog suit in one of the music like. Like I'm trying to look for like a three ten, like a three nine or whatever. Like not three. Yes, yeah, might be three nine. Like the music note item one with. I don't know. I I, I was like, is is there a secret item in there that I missed? I'm like, I don't know where I'm going here. So, is it? Is it experience? I hear you. Yeah, we we've all been there. Uh, seen you know, playing any game the first time, and you know, playing it without uh. Having that much uh, practice first time on stream is uh, that that's that is uh, that's courageous by itself. And then playing it when you've got uh, you know you're getting restreamed to other people that's uh, that's even yeah you know, that 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 takes some uh, takes some gall. So uh, dude, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. We, we'd love to see it. So um, anyways, um, are you? So who here is going to be in league? Um, of course, I'm not, but uh, I, I know uh, some people are going to be doing league season three here. I'll be in it. I'll be in it. Me too. All right. All right. So uh, Pleco, Teeks, and William in Texas. Great. So looking forward to seeing you guys in it. Of course, got the these previews of league. We will be starting. Uh, this coming week, we'll be starting League, and uh, of course, for the broadcasts, in order to help make things easier, we are going to make sure to put things up on screen, like uh, little indicators to let folks know whether or not they've completed levels so that the viewers can watch. It is going to put a little bit more load on the commentators. We're going to have to be paying attention. So, Krista, we're going to have to pay attention. Yes. No, no. <laughs> I Trust I'll, me. I'll to I want leave. to. I want to, because tracking, you got to remember, Diesel, I'm from Zelda, where we track oh, everything yeah. as it oh, stands. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Peeks, when are we going to see you in Zelda? Because, you know, my sis, Karos, is already in Zelda. When are well, we seeing you? When are we seeing you, my brother? That depends. When's the next event going to be? Um, well, the M the, the mentor tournament's going on right now, which Icaros is doing, and in just a moment, we are going to have some cursed boots action, which is casual boots, which is going on right now. I think the next tournament will probably be um, in September, so we'd love to see you, Tixi, <laughs> and, you know, and I'll talk to Josh, who's the person who does casual boots. That would be the best intro for you. That's the... If you stay and watch uh, Casual Boots, you'll see that that one's easy peasy lemon squeezy. So you will like that one most definitely. That that one you get to go fast. You're like P speed all the time. So you um, would like a mode like that. <laughs> I love the sound of that, and you might just get your wish, and I might just make an appearance this September. Then I've been, yeah. 
I've That's just been what I'm talking about. I've just been recently getting back into ALTTPR just like offline, so I might have to do a couple more practice oh. seeds in the meantime. So, looking yes, forward to it. Yes, I will give you some nice seeds from Sahabat. That's casual boots. And once you see it, you'll be like, oh my God, this will blow my mind. It's Yo, so, let's go. <laughs> it is so easy. I can coach you in that and you will have a ball. And I, I promise agree. I won't let you route like me because it's 100% shenanigans. I wish Jade both will tell, tell you about and, that. <laughs> and the, um, Icaros got me back into Link to the Past. So let's go! I'm, I'm oh, learning yeah. it again. I'm learning it again. She was I'll actually telling me about that recently. Here. Yeah, I uh, I forgot how much the dungeons just like mess with my brain, so I'm gonna be back watching it again. So I'll probably be watching this tournament and relearning the dungeons. Ah, uh, that's awesome. That is wonderful news, and uh, we will be looking forward to seeing you in the Zelda community because a lot of Zelda runners will be joining the Mario Three community. I brought over some Z3 runners into Mario 3, so now some Mario 3 people Zelda will be going into Z3, so that's, that's awesome. We've been trying to pull some uh, Z1 people over from uh, 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 over into the community as well, so... Speaking of which, we do have to get set up for Cursed Boots in just a little bit, so Diesel! Let us give our GG's to everybody who is both running on both Restream and Offstream. You know, you guys show that you are the excellence of execution, the Bret Hart's and Mr. Perfects of this game. Thank you to chat for sticking with us and going through this as we go through it, because we don't have a lick of what's going on and we are learning just as you guys are. You know, thank you guys for being absolutely amazing. Without you, we wouldn't be here. And to Speed Gaming and the greatest restreamer, Live Diesel Pilot, for hosting us here and making this possible. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone. I will be coming back on in just a few minutes in my Zelda mode, which is just as cursed as cursed. So, I will see you guys in just a little bit. See you guys later. And Diesel, are you going to be restreaming uh, the Zelda yeah. side? Yeah, I'll take care of your restream for Zelda. And, <laughs> yes, um, yes, I get to simp for you in Zelda mode. Oh, the baby. <laughs> All right. And uh, everybody, I hope you're able to stick around for uh, Casual Boots Race here in just a few minutes. Uh, for those of you who have to go, be safe, stay kind, and for all of you guys who are uh, looking forward to seeing us again, we'll be back on Saturday. Uh, all the racers here, uh, Dr. Torstall, Plako, Tozzle, Teeks, William in Texas, and Marky Mark, who was not able to join us in the post-game commentary booth. Hey, uh, thanks for being part of it. It's great to have you guys around. Uh, keep it up, and uh, we'll see you all again. Uh, thanks for uh, showcasing your, uh, your skills. Um, this is Diesel Pilot. I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I will see you guys all in just a few moments or the next time on the other side of the next pipe check. Good night. GG, and thank you. Sounds thank great. you, everyone. GG. Have, thank have you. a good day. Have a good day.